What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a slight DIY project on uh, Genesis right here. Uh, for a while now I've been saying that I'm going to do this and now, I mean, I waited till the end of the day but I'm going to go ahead and get it done for y'all. And this is actually what I'm going to be taking care of. As you can see the plastic on these fake hood scoops, it's like rough and starting to peel off and whatnot. I believe that's from it being baked in the sun. But now it's time for me to go ahead and take care of that. And the first thing I need to do is remove these things. So let me go ahead and pop the hood and get started with this DIY. Alright, so first things first. Ooh, it's dirty under here. But I need to, uh, one day I'm going to get rid of this whole engine cover thing because I don't like the way it looks. I mean, it looks fine and whatnot, but it just makes the car look, I don't know. I don't know, it looks uh, stockish and I want to just get rid of it because I'm sure it keeps a lot of heat in, which is another reason why I'm doing this. But first things first, I need to take off these clips and get this little heat shield or flame depressant thing off. And for those of you who don't know, this is actually meant in case your engine catches fire. It's supposed to burn these little tabs and then this will fall over the engine, which is supposedly supposed to suppress the flames. I don't know, I believe one of my friends told me that, but I think that's what it's for. And I just recently bought these off of Wish, actually. They're supposed to be little tab tools that help me remove the little tabs, but time to put them to the test now. Okay, I end up breaking a little tool, but I wouldn't say that it was because of the quality of the tool. It actually was because these, I don't think they were meant to come out, like, at all. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, like, I was pulling on them too much in that one direction. And I ended up breaking most of these things off, which is not a good thing. But, I don't know, I think one of these days I might end up just taking this whole thing down because I don't really see a need for it in my case. And I, I don't know how I'm gonna put it back up there anyways, I'm not buying extra tabs. But the next thing is, now that I got it this far, I'm just gonna loosen up these bolts. I believe there's one, two, uh, three on each side. And I'm just gonna loosen these up. I don't know what size they are, but I'll see whenever I get to it. All right, so once I undid these 10 millimeter bolts, I feel like the easiest thing to do is to remove these little tabs first. And I already did this one. All you need to do is get something hard and press up against the back side of it. And you'll see they'll start popping out. And then you're gonna wanna squeeze this with like some needle nose pliers and then it should come right on out after that. You should do that to each side and then they'll both be out. I know I'm not showing you guys much, but I do have one of them off right now. And I just wanted to show you guys this, that as you can see, whenever I close my hood, you're still gonna see the little heat shield thing. And I don't wanna cut holes in there just cause I don't feel the need to. And like I said, I was gonna take it off anyway. So I'm about to go ahead and just remove the whole thing. But like I said, I got this off and I ended up breaking one of the clips that was right here. Those aren't really needed. That's just for like the extra support or whatever. It's actually going to be held in by these screws. And then as long as you don't break, well, probably break one, but don't try to break the ones along this side, then you should be fine. But time for me to go ahead and take the rest of this heat shield off and get on here to taking this one off. And then I'll start with the painting. All right, so for this part, you're gonna wanna use a Dremel cutting tool. And I would say it would be easier to go from the back side just because of the clearance of the Dremel. But uh, yeah, you're just gonna follow the little grooves along the back side. You can tell where you're gonna need to cut. 
and just slowly go about doing it the plastic is going to be melting whenever you're cutting so just be sure to watch for that and try to protect your eyes from it i'm about to go ahead and get started with this and then i have both of these to do and then i'll start with the sanding All right, so finally, after a long time of Dremeling, this is what I have. Don't be like me and not watch yourself with this Dremel and uh, nick the edge of this. But I still have to put the little sanding part on the Dremel to fine sand it and get it actually where I want it to be. I got this big piece off. I'm so glad of that. But now I don't have to deal with that anymore. So, uh... I didn't realize this was gonna take this long. I wasn't fully sure how long it was gonna take. Uh, the plastic was melting a lot, and with that, it made it just take a little bit longer than I thought. But I'm gonna finish this video tomorrow, so y'all won't see it as being tomorrow. Y'all will just see it as me flashing to the next clip. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and finish doing as much as I can before I run out of daylight, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Meanwhile, Okay, so it's now a few days later and I'm back to finish this job. I've been riding around with my car like this for the past few days and I don't know, I don't like the way that looks just because it looks kind of tacky. You can see all of this and I'm actually gonna have to clean that. Well, I don't need to, but I might clean that before I install these hood vents back in. And I have the hood vents over here, they're on the ground. And this is gonna be the first time that I've actually tried to attempt sanding paint off of plastic and i think that's probably gonna be like an experience for me but here they are i got them all cut out to the best of my ability they should look better once they're painted and i'm gonna be using 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper let me go ahead and get started with this like i said it's gonna be some type of experience for me and i'll go ahead and install those when i'm done All right, so I think that's gonna be a great addition to the car. As you can see, it does let the engine breathe a little bit better. I didn't do the best professional job, as you can tell, where well, you probably can't because I'm moving the camera quite fast, but it'll work for me. This just about wraps up the video. I did make this video kind of short because I just wanted to show you guys how I went about doing the the whole painting my hood vents thing and it came out quite nicely uh it's nice enough until i end up getting some carbon fiber hood vents that actually work and are actually like perfect from the factory other than that like i said i'm about to end the video right here if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down in the section below and let me know if you've seen any other videos on the hood vents or any other way to do it other than how i did it and i'll check that out myself go ahead and share this video for anybody that was looking to do this and said it's going to be such a big hassle to do so and show them that it's not all that bad go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank you all for watching